Hello guys, and welcome to the final item review video of the recent patch. So, the last three items that I'm going to go over is Ultra's Heavy Plate, Thunderclaw, the new Thunderclaw, Reward Thunderclaw, as well as Voltstone. So this is not going to be that long of a video, I don't think, but usually when I say that, the video ends up being very long. But first and foremost, don't forget to check out Gas Mobile in the description if you're from Southeast Asia. And uh, <clears throat> you have an app store and you just download Gas Mobile there and you can play some sort of a Plinko and chat with your Garena Plus mates and stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool application if you're playing Han. You should check it out, the link is below. Also, as always, if you do enjoy my videos, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up as well as sharing the video, that helps me out a lot. Way more than you imagine just by pressing that thumbs up button. So if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to do that. Let's get right into it. So... Ultra's Heavy Plate. When activated, grants you incredibly high armor for a few seconds. Applies a minus 20% attack speed aura to enemy units within 900 radius. Passive bonuses, 250 max mana, 18 armor, free health regeneration, and uh, self. Mana cost, 75, uh, 75, cooldown 45 seconds, instantly armors you, removing all debuffs and applying stalwart to you for 6 seconds, which is 100 armor, decreasing to 0 over 6 seconds. So just to show you guys exactly what that is about, we can add a slitter here on the legion team, put him at max level, and then we're gonna do this, boom. And now, I use the ultras plate, and we remove the slitter buff. So basically, you remove all debuffs, it's, ki it's kind of like a perch, you know, like a nullfire blade, so... If you were sheeped, you could re you could have removed it, but you can't use items when you're sheeped, but you get the point. It removes all debuffs, and it applies a lot of armor to you, so just to put it into, into perspective here, Gonna show you exactly how much damage you can do. So this Dark Lady here has 482 damage, right? 482. And I'm gonna charge him and attack this. Now I'm gonna pop Ultra's Heavy Plate. And boom. I barely take any damage at all. So now, why am I showing you this item with a Salomon, you're probably wondering. Because I recently got absolutely destroyed by this exact item build by Complexity's Formless. So basically, we had a really strong lineup to deal with a one core. We had a lot of physical, and we had a lot of magic. The problem with Salomon is that you always go Restoration Stone, right? So you'll always have double Shrunken, and you will always have double Ulti. Now, the problem was that he also had double Ultra's Heavy Plate, which means that we could literally not kill Salomon for 12 seconds. And I'm sure I don't need to tell you guys what happens when you let a Salomon auto-attack. This is just on a Dark Lady who has a Wingbow and a ton of other items. And then imagine when I blow up, as well as the Frostful Skull, the Mox to the entire team, and the Restoration Stone. You just deal tons of damage. Now, why is this item build good on Salomon, like, in particular? And that is because of what I just said, the 12 second, the double Ultras Heavy Plate. Because this Dark Lady will charge in, and I will pop my Ultras. Then I will pop Resto, and I will pop Ultras again. And for pretty much 12 seconds, look, their carry can't do anything, and you can just ult up again. And if this was a 1v1... This Salomon would be absolutely destroyed. So, Ultra's Heavy Plate, what kind of heroes would you want to buy it on? Well, Salomon. I see Salomon as one of those heroes where it definitely is viable, because as I said, you're always going to buy Restoration Stone, and you are always and you do a lot of damage for your ulti and mock, and if you go Frostwolf already. So you don't really need the damage, because the problem with Ultra's Heavy Plate, right, is that it only provides you with armor and mana, and a sh minus attack speed aura. So our armor, mana, and the minus attack speed are you get no stats, you get nothing. So this item is something that you want to be picking up late game as well, just as recent items that I have been reviewing as well. This item is something you want to be picking up later. But it is not broken for the so reason that you, if you buy shrunken altars, if we remove these other items right here, I will not really do anything. Like, I will do something because I'm a Salomon, but if I'm any other hero right now and I'm sitting on a, on a ultra heavy plate and I shrunken, I'm not going to do any damage at all. Like, I'm simply not going to do anything. Look at this Slitter here, he has no items. And I'm a Salomon with a lot of GPM. Point here being that the the item combination of picking up both an, a Shrunken and Ultras is something that will pretty much only be viable on a hero like Salomon. Now, what other heroes... Uh, there's the game, by the way, if it's still there. Yeah, there you go. This is the game we lost. Uh, that series ended up being 1-1, we played in the group stage, but this Salomon item build absolutely destroyed us. We couldn't touch him. And we have a pretty good, like, team for dealing with a 1-core. Anyway. <coughs> uh, yeah, th that match ended up being 1-1. Okay, so, what heroes do you want to pick up Ultras played on? First of all, you want to look at the enemy team. Does the enemy have a lot of physical damage? So if we take a look at this game right here, what does what does our team have? We have a lot of lockdown, 
We have a lot of magic, but mo first and foremost, we have tons of tons what of minus magic armor and tons of physical damage. Like pestilence and silhouette, pestilence ulti gets perched by ultra heavy plate. So if I have pestilence here, if I go and I use my ultimate on this uh, Salomon, it will be instantly perched by ultra heavy plate. So not only did he have six seconds of cooldown, he also removed the Pestilence ulti in that game. So Ultras was a perfect, perfect choice that game. We have a lot of physical, we have Pestilence ulti, we have Shield Breaker, Perch it all with Ultras Heavy Plate. So that's a perfect example of when to buy it. But anyway, so yeah, you want to be looking at the enemy lineup. When is this item good? When is it bad? It's good against a hero like Nitro. Nitro is all about that physical damage, right? But still, you want to pick up later in the game. and You don't want to have it on any hero. So what if I'm playing against a physical damage, like a full-on physical damage lineup right now? Let's say... Um, well, anyway, they don't have that much magic. They don't have a Behe, Magmas, or anything like that. But their main carry is Nitro, and I'm an Oogie. So me as an Oogie, I obviously want to pick up armor because I don't want to get one shot, but it's Nitro. I want to take as little damage as possible. That is a perfect scenario of picking up an Ultra Heavy Plate. So me as the Oogie, I have Steam Boots, Icon, uh, and Sheepstick right now. That's my free items on Oogie. And I'm playing against a Nitro here who's running around with Ghost Marchers on the Parasite and Shield Breaker and stuff. And it, he kills me really fast. That is a perfect example of when to pick up an Ultras Heavy. You pick it up on your Oogie, you, uh, for 6 seconds the Nitro will almost not be able to kill you whatsoever, and you can chase him down, regen your life, like maybe you get to 20%. Now you pop your ulti as your Oogie, you use that Ultras Heavy Plate, <coughs> and you get HP back up. So Oogie, a good example against a full physical damage lineup. But it is an item that only gives mana and armor, you gotta keep that in mind. So it is not viable on that many heroes. So you could think about picking it up on heroes that have a lot of lockdown or heroes that do a lot of damage naturally. So like bursting sorts of heroes that needs to get their stuff off. As an example, um, uh, what hero do we want to use here? Um, Berserker, for example. If you, Because you, you always build damage and HP on him. If you're facing a lot of ma physical damage, you already take increased damage from your ultimate. You already take increased damage from your other parasite, which you most likely have. So if you're playing heroes like Silhouette and stuff like that, and you need that armor, those 6 seconds could be very viable. But I still don't see it as a pickup over other items. Because I don't see ulters as an amazing item. I see it as an item that is very situational. Only good against heroes that have a lot of physical damage. Or lineup, sorry. Or if you're a hero that can you do a lot of damage with a Shrunken and an Ultras, because <coughs> Shrunken already provides you with a lot of defense against most lineups. So getting an Ultras is most of the time not going to be worth it, because you can get a Shrunken to remove all their stuns and magic, and then you're not really going to need that physical reduction. But another hero that does damage without that is Electrician. Electrician builds upon ma uh, sorry mana, and it builds upon doing overtime damage and locking people down. So Ultra's Heavy Plate on a hero like Electrician could be very viable. Same goes for Balfagor. Balfagor wants to be a frontline hero that wants to be really, really in it. Like, he wants to be all the way in the fight, and he wants to pop that ulti and make sure he survives. Balfagor, another contender. Amon Ra, another contender. He does a lot of damage with his dot, he does a lot of damage with his Q and W, but he does die because usually you don't pick up a demonic until later in the game. So, Ultra's Heavy Plate, definitely a possibility, but maybe not the best item. I'm sure you can see the pattern here. Most of these heroes that wants to pick up this item are uh, strength heroes, or heroes that do a lot of damage and will survive from physical. So, like... If you're playing like a Thunderbringer, and you're thinking about, oh, they have so much physical, and I do so much damage with my spells, should I pick up an Ultras? No. Why? Because you can buy a Void Talisman and still use your spells for 4 seconds, and it's 1500 gold. Keep that in mind, Void Talisman still exists in this game, and you want to be careful about buying Ultras. <coughs> Alright, let's go into the next item. I think I covered that item pretty well. Make sure, If you have any questions, guys, don't forget to ask below. I'll be, I always read your comments, so yeah. Alright, our next items is Voltstone and Thunderclaw. So Voltstone, this item chance to trigger does not stack with Arclight, blah blah blah. Cast Chain Lightning on 6th attack. Starts with 5 charges, an attack removes the charge. When 0 charges remain, the next attack deals 55 amount of damage to your attack target and 2 additional nearby enemies. Okay. That is a very low radius. Huh, that is worse than I expected. How much low radius is that? <laughs> I wasn't aware it was so short. Look at that, that's barely anything. Oh god. 
Anyway, I was never a fan of this item. As I said during the item review, I really didn't see where this item would fit in. I didn't see it as a good item to pick up by itself. And I certainly didn't see it as a good idea to rework Thunderclaw. But anyway, this item is a build-up into Thunderclaw. So if you buy this, you're going to be buying Thunderclaw. So I don't think there is much else needed to be said about this item because it's very... It costs 700 gold and it's not worth it to pick up to farm extra. Like that extra... 55 magic damage on every 6th attack is not going to increase your farm a lot. Those 700 gold could be better spent on... Do, well, Mary Spawny, but don't buy that item. It's God. It's Devil's Creation. Alright, <laughs> Thunderclaw. Alright, let's get into Thunderclaw. So, I have already expressed my um, concern with this item. Thunderclaw before was very strong, maybe a little bit too strong, but... It was the reason so many carries was very good, like so many ranged carries were in the game because of Thunderclaw. Clanks, for example, even Silhouettes picked up the occasional Thunderclaw. Um, well, I, I can pick up a bunch of heroes, like uh, we have Valkyrie and stuff like that, even Puppet sometimes. It wasn't good Whatever on Puppet, but people did it anyway. Attack. Master of Arms, point being that this item was very good and it allowed certain heroes that had problems farming very fast to farm faster or actually farm incredibly fast. So, this item was very good. Now, what changed? This item now costs a thousand more gold. One thousand extra gold, and not only that, you cannot build this Thunderclaw into an Arclight Crown. This is a standalone item that does not build into anything. The old Thunderclaw built into Charged Hammer. Now, you didn't really upgrade your Thunderclaw into Charged Hammer, like, ever. But it was still there, and you could still upgrade it if necessary. Now, this item is standalone. It provides you with 25 damage and 25 attack speed. And it gives you 100 magic damage and a 275 area around the target. And I'm going to show you here. So there you go. That is the current Thunderclaw. Uh, it... It barely gives you any stats, it, it gives you 100 magic damage and 275 AoE around target. And now the question you need to ask yourself, is this item worth picking up when it costs 3,500 gold? And I guarantee you that 95% of the time you'll be like, no, not really. Because it doesn't really provide you enough to actually be able to warrant an item pickup, you know? Like, if you pick up a Firebrand, you know that I'll... Like, Firebrand, it's not a really farming item, a but it will build me into the eventual Frostburn, or into my Dawnbringer, or into my Geode Bane. I know that I'm going to get value out of this item. Now, what does this item give? It gives you a static, every third attack, 100 mana damage and a 275 area on the target, and you paid 3,500 for it. I personally do not have never bought this item since the rework, and I don't think I ever will. I might be very wrong, I was wrong about Frostwolf, I keep repeating that, because admitting your mistakes is always good, and I was wrong about that. I thought Frostwolf was gonna be shit, but it ended up being good, but I honestly don't see this Thunderclaw being picked up on any hero anymore, except Master of Arms, because Master of Arms is incredibly strong on, because obviously you attack so fast with your red gun, and since it's every third attack and a hundred magic damage, it's worth it. So, if you're playing Master of Arms, I would say pick up Thunderclaw every game, but besides that, you don't want to pick it up anymore. Not on Valkyrie and stuff like that. You would much rather do the Shieldbreaker Elder Parasite build that I have been buying a lot lately. Because I think that item build provides a lot in terms of team fighting, and provides a lot in terms of damage, and even in, in the aspect farming. But, my point being here, that if you're playing a hero like Clanks and stuff, you would much rather just go Firebrand into your Geos, into your Wingbow, straight away, instead of buying Thunderclaw. It is not worth paying 3,500 gold for this extra. And that is really all I have for this video. Like, I, I don't think there is much to evaluate about these items. This is the, like I said, the shortest one of them all. There is not really, a I can't really tell you when to pick up this item because I don't think it's good enough. I don't think it's worth picking up on any hero. I can't look at this, at this list here and say that, hmm, this, uh, this hero should buy a Thunderclaw, because, you know, I used to buy Thunderclaw all the time on Kronos, for example. If you guys remember, I've been on Hardcore Gaming, like, four or five times with, with Kronos. Like, my, my Kronos has been there four or five times, with the same item build, every time, because it was a very good item build. But I, I don't even buy it on Kronos anymore, it's not worth it. And the, the, the 100 radius spread as well, like, it's just not... I personally just don't see a reason to pick up this item. So I guess that's all for me. That was all the item reviews from this last patch that reworked and re revamped the entire item system in the game. So I hope you guys have found all three of these item reviews very good. And next week we're going to do an educational uh, of a hero. So no more item reviews. And also, 
Uh, I have good news. I will also be doing basic rotations again uh, on bo on on four other heroes. So. In my last basic rotations, of course, I did uh, War Beast, Solstice. The Legion oh god, how did I forget that? Tower. War Beast, Solstice, Tempest. And who was my last hero? Legionnaire. I did basic rotations on those four heroes, and now in the next uh, in next edition, I'm going to do um, Salforis, uh, Cthulhu Font, Parasite, and um, holy crap, my memory today is really bad. Um, I literally. I literally wrote this down like five minutes ago. Wild Soul, right. So Cthulhu Font, Sulphuris, Wild Soul, and uh, Parasite will be the basic rotations I will be doing now. And my plan is to release one video every week of these basic rotations. So I've already recorded the basic rotations uh, Legion for the other four heroes that I did before. That's going to be released on Wednesday, this Wednesday, uh, with Ty Subtles available. So I hope you're... in. Uh, ex Looking forward to that, and then the next video will be uploaded the Wednesday after that, and the next one Wednesday after that. Unless you guys disagree, please let me know, know below if you think that is a good schedule. Basically, I will do an educational on myself every Wednesday, and then I will be doing the gas educational on Friday. Right, let me know if you guys think that is a good schedule, and also, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, as well as check out all my other videos on Facebook and Twitter and stuff, which you can find in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you uh, very much. Goodbye, guys.